Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? Today we are going to draw a scary crow. So let's get started. So we are going to start with the crow and we'll add some uh, details to it later on. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get videos right when I release them because I release a video every single day for you and all the videos contain a drawing idea uh, that is very easy to do. Uh, you can do it um, in about 5 minutes and um, you can do it your own and color it as well. So. Let's see how this one turns out and I hope you really really like it. For this drawing I'm going to use color pencils and mostly black, blue and uh, a little bit of red as well as orange and yellow. and. Um, uh, brown as well so if you want really bright good quality art supplies uh, please check out the link below for Artisa and some Amazon links that I put for you um, if you want these uh, check out the links below and if you are getting your products directly from Artisa which I have a link for uh, use promo code can do 10 to get more savings So since the beginning of this month, I started drawing things that are related to Halloween. Um, I think this is one of those as well because the crow uh, has a red eye and has a little bit of blood uh, near the beak. So I hope it looks scary as well. And um, if you want any other Halloween related or any other request, uh, if you have any other request that you want me to draw and show you how to draw it, uh, please let me know by commenting below. I will uh, make sure to draw that for you and show you how to draw it as well. So, so far I drew uh, for the Halloween theme, I drew a pumpkin, a skull, and a scary face and now I'm drawing the scarecrow so if you want me to draw anything else please let me know it doesn't have to be Halloween related um, anything at all let me know I will draw that and show you how to draw it uh, so here I just added the blood um, so I hope you like it if you do like it please don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me So as you probably know, crows are found all over the world and a group of crows is called a murder. So now I'm just adding more details to the crow uh, because it's going to be mainly black so I'm gonna add a little bit of color like blue um, and whites here and there just to get um, like a distinction between the feathers uh, but overall it's going to be black so I'm going to just add some more details and then now I'm going to add a branch So this is a very interesting fact that I found online. Some crows can read traffic lights. So in Japan, a carry-on crows uh, use cars like oversized nutcrackers. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's a risky trick, but the crows are usually run over by cars because they figured out what traffic lights mean. So carry-on crows wait until the light turns red before flying down to place the uncracked nut on the road. 
the second the light goes green the crow takes off to watch the nut get run over from afar and it will even wait for the next red to scoop up the nuts inside isn't that interesting they are very intelligent animals Also I'm going to add a moon behind the crow so it looks a little spooky so you can let me know in the comment section below what you think of this drawing and if you find it easy to draw um and please let me know and if you have any requests as well and if you want to send me your drawing uh you can do so so i can feature it in my next videos you can send it to my facebook or my instagram uh, accounts which i have the information in the description box below so you can check those out as well and if you want any products made out of this colored drawing of the crow and the moon with a little bit of blood to make it a little really uh like a spooky uh scenery Uh you can check out the red bubble link below for products like um even uh, blankets and um laptop covers, laptop stickers, masks and all sorts of things, t-shirts. You can check the red bubble link below for more. So you see here that I'm freehanding uh the moon you can always use something round to make sure that you get a perfect round uh moon behind the crow uh you can use a lid of some sort or anything really um so because I'm I was just drawing it by hand I'm just making sure it looks circular and now we're going to go into coloring so we're going to start with black for the crow and build uh the crow from there so I'm going to start by going over the lines with a darker strike of black so you will see how I'm coloring it and at the same time I'm going to Uh, give you another fun fact about crows. Uh, crows can recognize your face and hold a grudge. Isn't that interesting? So, if you're liking this video and like uh, what I'm drawing, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can see a video every single day from me and draw it with me and even send it to me so I can feature it. like i said before so i'm going to show you quickly how i'm going to color the whole thing uh, lightly with black before adding in more detail coloring using other colors as well so you can do the same and uh, i hope you really like it if you do like it please let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video as well So now I'm adding in a little bit of blue. So you see at uh, down below you see a little white patches. I was going to draw a skull for the crow to stand on, but then I ran out of space at the bottom, so I added a branch instead. And I also thought the skull is too generic that a lot of people draw this. So I switched to a branch instead. That's why it has all these um, white patches. I already drew a skull for you, so if you want to add a skull underneath, uh, you can always look at the other uh, video after this video and add your skull underneath the crow if you want. And make sure you have enough space underneath as well for the uh, full skull to be drawn. So you see that I added black 
and then blue and a little bit of white here and there as well and I'm going to go over the whole thing with black again and add some more details to it so on top of the white so some of the color when I'm coloring it black it will be lighter compared to the other areas because there's white underneath and the branch I'm going to add brown and uh, yellow for the branch and you will see I'm not using bright yellow just uh, uh, like a brown there's a brown tone to this yellow um, not bright yellow so a different shade of yellow and then uh, the moon I'm going to make it a little red and orange and yellow just to give it a spooky look so I really hope you like it and I will show you how it looks uh, at the end with all the coloring and everything done so if you want products made out of this uh, color drawing you can always check my red bubble link below in the description box and uh, check those products out So if you have a really dark red, uh, use that to color uh, the blood because um, it will look nicer compared to the moon color. So this is the final colored look of the crow and the branch and a little bit of blood too to make it a little spooky. I hope you find it spooky and Halloween. Uh, themed looking please let me know in the comment section below and like the video if you really like it and I put some next videos for you to check out and you can also check out other videos in the up in the i button up top uh, for the Halloween theme and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting on my face logo and I will see you tomorrow bye